Ooh, what's going on guys and welcome back to another Minecraft video today I'm going to be showing you how to build this catapult here um, the design was based off of uh, a picture that I saw on the internet obviously uh, to get the workings of a medieval catapult down now it is very detailed so some would say overly detailed but it is a catapult and I do believe the system is very um, it does work for example you got the tot system here so this would be sort of like a very uh, taut sort of um, very stiff piece of wood here um, but then as you bend it down hence the rope here and you have a mechanism to pull the rope down um, this would bend it back like this and then um, I just realized how the heck do they release the thing I'm gonna have to look that up but there's some way that they're going to release the thing and then the thing goes goes wham and it just shoots over the uh, enemy walls or at the enemy walls and such um, this is meant to cause a great deal of damage to the enemy fortresses or whatever is going on whatever is shooting at um, so don't want to be on the receiving end of this but anyway let's go get go ahead and get started and um, yeah looking forward all right, guys, let's go ahead and get started. First of all, we're gonna start with the frame. And so what we need to do, let's just go ahead and start up here. Um, this is going to go 10 over. Uh, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, so that is 10 over. Uh, we're gonna do the same thing over here, three over. All right, so that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, and now on the inside of each, you're gonna go ahead and place the logs like this, and um, that's going to set that out. And then you also place cobble walls in here like so. Now that is going to uh, support the inner bit of the, uh, the catapult here, and so that it doesn't all shake apart and such. Now on the front, we're going to do this. We're gonna put three um, spruce stairs like this, and you're gonna do this all the way across, just like that, all right? And then, um, for those that don't know, this is uh, the spruce stair, and then you change it, uh, the metadata, into the uh, the bark texture. All right, so now we need to go ahead and place in the tires, or not the tires, the tires. Yes, we need to place in the medieval tires. We all know that uh, they had tires back in the medieval days. So, but anyway. We're gonna go ahead and place the tires just like that. So one is going to be on this axis, and then one is going to be on there, just on the inside of that, and then this is one in. Um, the reason is, is so that you can place this wheel there to uh, crank down the, the actual uh, shooting arm of the catapult. Okay, so let's go ahead and place the tires over here really quick, and then we should be good to go. So there's one. And then this is two here, one and two. All right, so there we go. And now I think we can go ahead and head on to our next portion. All righty, so we're gonna head on to our next portion, which is actually preparing the system to bend back the actual bucket that shoots the rocks or fires the rocks over enemy walls or at enemy walls, not over enemy walls, pretty much. Um, catapults are made to shoot directly at. Trebuchets are made to shoot directly over. Um, so like over the walls into the uh, inside of wherever they're shooting. So like the inside of a castle. The best best place to, or not the best place, but a good way, um, a good uh, movie to watch to see trebuchets in action is um, Kingdom of Heaven towards the end. They have a good bit there where they have a lot of trebuchets shooting in at the city. And it's just really cool to watch. But anyway, um, that is the system there. Uh, it's really quite simple in the sense that it's you know not too difficult. But as you can see, we got the cobble fences there, and we got the rope texture, which is the um, acacia or dark oak log metadata. And then you go ahead and place those on top, and you go ahead and take some fence pieces, put there and there, and then down here you go ahead and take an iron furnace. Now it's not necessary to have an iron furnace there, but I just do it just because it looks like it's some kind of cranking system. So what I do is I do this and I take a wheel um, or a trap door and I change it into the wheel texture. And then I take a item frame with a piece of spruce or any kind of wood really. And then that's how you do that. I'm gonna do this on the other side as well. 
So right here, whoops. And then we'll just go ahead and do this really quick. And then we'll put the trap door right there. And we'll change that into a wheel. There we go, right like that. All right, so as you can see that that's how that works out. It's pretty simple, works pretty well. Now for the inside of the chassis is we're going to have this. Um, we're gonna put an upside down oak stair and then another one right there, another upside down oak stair and right there as well. Um, so now we're gonna be building up this portion here. Uh, we're gonna be building the actual scaffolding that holds the whole thing together. So what we need is spruce stairs and oak stairs. And we also obviously need some oak wood as well. Um, but anyway, we're just gonna go ahead and build this up. So it's gonna go one, two, um, okay, so it's gonna go one, two, three. And then this here is going to be a piece of wood like this. And then you're gonna do the same thing here. One, and then spruce wood underneath and then another one right there. Now the reason why I do the spruce wood underneath is it just um, it just adds a look, it's nothing specific, it makes it look nicer. All right, so this is gonna come up like so, all the way up to there. And um, that's how that works. And then you're gonna have this out front and you're gonna change this to the barrel texture, like that, all right? And so now you have this whole sort of chassis thing. Um, you can put also another one right up there to make that work out. It looks pretty good. And then um, for right here, you can go ahead and place a couple of these, um, just the cobble fences, just like that, just to add some more support to the structure. And then you're gonna do a fence piece or a fence gate right there. And then that's going to be the detail uh, for that. And then we're gonna also put that there. All right. So pretty straightforward, hopefully. Um, hopefully you guys got that pretty well down. Um, you know, then again, these, like more. there's a little bit more detail to add, such as this, uh, adding it like that, put this up here like so, and then again, another stair like this. Um, and then we'll add in the detail as we go along. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side really quick, and then we can uh, go ahead and do some more. All right, so that's pretty straightforward and that's done. Now we're gonna go ahead and make this little cross piece here and this is what's going to sort of keep it, um, um, it's gonna be, like it's a pretty strong bit that you know obviously stops all that you know weight from hitting it from going straight through and launching the whole catapult head over heels on itself. Um, but yeah, this is what we're going to be doing here is basically uh, building this little thing, uh, if you know what I mean. <laughs> But anyway, it's just gonna be like this. We're gonna, or we gonna, we're gonna go ahead and do that, that, and then that's pretty straightforward like so. Um, but that's how you get that done. And it's just sort of like a, a bit that keeps it from falling apart, pretty much. And then here, we're just gonna go ahead and do this. Um, the reason why I do that is it sort of, it keeps the arm from sort of like getting out of like its area like it keeps it straight that's what these uh, two arms or two uh, things like this are for is to keep it nice and straight just like so and now we got to go ahead and do this arm and so this is going to be a little bit of the hard part for me um, as far as getting it uh, copied over correctly anyway that's upside down stairs there and then you go ahead and do rope like that and now we gotta figure out how to do this arm. And so now I'm gonna be going probably back and forth to try to figure this out, but um, I will be right back and uh, we will go ahead and do it. All right, so let's go ahead and get started on the, uh, the bit here. So it's gonna be a half slab like that, and then you put a stair on top of it right there. Um, and then it is an upside down stair right there, and then another half slab there. Then you place another half slab right on the stair, right like that, and then you put another stair on top, facing back, all right? And then right here is a full piece of the wood, right there, all right? 
and then you do half slab, half slab, and then you put a half slab on top, and then obviously you go ahead and put some rope there. So let's just go ahead and do that really quick. So that is what's going to torque it down. Then you go ahead and put a full piece there and a half slab there, and then there you go. The catapult is taut and ready to go. Now taut is in like very tight, you know. It is ready to turn some rock into projectiles. But let's go ahead and change these biomes over so that it looks like a bucket kind of thing so that it shoots out correctly. Um, another thing that I would like to do is add in buttons on this thing, just like this. Um, this adds in some more detail, makes it look a little nicer. And then I would also put some buttons on the ends, both on, on each end of this, just like that. Now also another thing that I like to do, um, go ahead and put a uh, rope coil there, and then another one over here as well. So um, basically that sort of holds this like cross section together keeps it all together and nice um, now another thing that we can do is add in some trap doors here just to add in some extra detail and keep it nice and uh, variated now we need the right biome so uh, we decided this is the right biome. remember I was going through the biomes for so long trying to figure out what the right biome was and finally I found this one so I'm not going to go through that again. Uh, the biome is frozen ocean uh, because what happens is I have a or I have this fence gate up here, and if it's not frozen ocean, that fence gate is white because of biomes and stuff. So yeah, it ain't fun. We're gonna go ahead and put a fence gate up there, and then we're gonna put some a bit random detail around. Um, that's basically all it is now is just putting random details so a cobble wall there cobble wall there and then a fence piece on top now on either side of this it'll be uh, iron like that and I'm pretty sure no I don't okay very good um, I was gonna say I probably have a fence a fence gate between them but I don't and then we have <clears throat> levers like that to sort of uh, add in some extra detail but um, you know pretty much this thing is done now it's pretty straightforward hopefully hopefully you guys were able to follow along but um, yeah this is what we built I'm um, just gonna look around make sure that I didn't miss anything if I did miss anything uh, it won't be any good but I'm pretty sure that that is it um, it holds together pretty well as you can see it's it's very well connected and everything so um, yeah if you guys like this video um, please like I uh, thumbs up I really would appreciate that share my channel around your channels that's what the whole liking thing does is it uh, helps me get my name out there for people that maybe be to subscribe to your channels um, and it would help help out a lot and I would appreciate that um, also if you guys want to see more please subscribe because there is a lot more to see and uh, yeah, really looking forward um, to doing more videos. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I look forward to doing more. Um, yeah, don't forget that I have a Facebook and a Twitter that you guys can follow me on and um, you can see me over there and stay connected with me and uh, definitely looking forward to spending uh, more time with you guys um, and more videos and content to come. Till then, bye bye